Hello, everybody. Um, I know I said that I wasn't going to do any more Fallout VR content, uh, but yeah, you know me, I, I like Fallout, so I'm doing it again. This is going to be another um, intro to my Wabajack thing, just like an update video, just because I know the last time I <clears throat> made this, I said it was going to be like the final one, uh, but I, I ended up like changing this list um, a decent amount. Um, and there's also like better stuff now because we finally have stuff like Fall UI. So there's actual like icons in the Pip Boy, which was not a thing for the years, <laughs> um, which made navigating the Pip Boy pretty annoying, but it's a lot easier now. Everything is much um, cleaner looking. Um, and there's stuff like holsters, which I also went over this in a recent video on how to do that, but I'm going to be doing that again here. Um, and everything is a little bit easier uh, to get into. There's even like a better um, trade menu with companions. Uh, so instead of having like a weird thing, it's a lot more organized. Um, but yeah, all right, so let me go to my desktop to show you some of the stuff that you can change around. And then I'll probably be... Um, going through the beginning of the game again and just speed running that and showing you the holsters and uh and stuff like that so let me go ahead and uh go to my desktop all right so here i am uh on my desktop i'm not gonna be going through the whole wabajack setup uh again just because i did that once and that was like a 40 minute long video and i think it still holds up as far as getting the actual um program installed there's a couple things that have changed from that but I don't want to go through the whole process again. That video also has like 20,000 views, so it'd be a little pointless, uh, but I will probably replace um, this one just because I made that like seven months ago. Uh, but anyways, before we get started, um, I will be linking the readme. So this is going to have the most up-to-date information over any video that I put out just because if I ever end up changing this again, which is pretty unlikely, but some people are working on some pretty exciting mods for Fallout. VR, which I'm, I'm probably going to want to include. Um, so this will have updated information. Uh, but I do want to bring up this. A lot of you probably know how to do this. Um, but if you ever have a question about anything, do control F on your keyboard and then you can like search for stuff. Like let's say you have a question about a pit boy. Pit boy. Oh, wow. <laughs> then you can get right to that. Um, so that is useful information um but yeah just read read the readme uh back to back and i can guarantee that this will it should work the first time that you uh try installing it if you follow this step by step um but i will show you some of the little things that you might want to know about um with wabajack so first i'm gonna assume that you've already had you already have this installed uh, fully and you've opened it up wherever you wherever you have it located. Uh, for me, I have it on a separate hard drive right here. Um, and then it's gonna be under uh, Mod Organizer. Let me just do that right now. So um, you can open that up. I've got a new splash screen here, which is exciting. And uh, here it is, here's the list. Um, you have all the tools here in case you ever wanna edit this, which I don't fully support on my ends, but you are free to do what Whatever you want um, and also this has come up uh, a few times um, so I just want to point out that a lot of people brought up like oh I haven't even included this mod or this doesn't feel um, very essential to me at the end of the day uh, I originally made this list just because I wanted to make something for myself uh, when I was streaming and I wanted to make the game run better um, so that's how I got into developing this and then I wanted to share it with people because I know how much of a pain it is to mod a game. Um, so I took the time to try and make this easy on people who don't mod the game. But these are all my choices on what makes the game fun and it is subjective. Um, so if you want to change stuff, you are absolutely free to do that. Uh, but it's not like I can't change like the things that I enjoy in the game. Um, it's just what I like. Uh, you can live with it or don't live with it. I don't really care. Um, but I'll try to help you if I can, um, but I've given you the tools to do that. So I made another tutorial video on XEdit, which I'll be linking in the description as well. Um, anyways, uh, let me get started uh, with this. So 
there are only um unlike the original tutorial video that i had there there's only really one profile now and uh, there's no like vanilla mode or anything it's just one i also have a left-handed mode so if you're left-handed you can switch to that um and that should be set up correctly in the game uh so you have the pit boy on your uh left hand and excuse me pit boy on your right hand and then you're going to be shooting and moving shooting with your left and you'll move with your right i don't I'm not left-handed, so I'm going to assume that's how it works. Um, but I tried to make this a little bit more simplified. So these are all the things you can customize under customizable. Now, I've uh, I've gone over this in, I think, every Wabajack tutorial video I've made. Um, and I've also done this on my own, like the own Wabajack list that I've downloaded. So if you want to customize anything with this, this is Mod Organizer. Um, if you If you click on this little drop down menu and you click on the manage button. Um, you want to highlight that and then you can copy it and do my custom game. Um, and you have a complete clean profile of the game right here. Uh, and then you can just mess with whatever you want. Start unchecking stuff. I actually would not recommend you uncheck stuff unless you know what you're doing. Uh, but you can go ahead and like add different mods from uh from nexus um and to get to nexus you can right click it and then do uh visit on nexus it'll it'll just bring it up for you um you can start adding mods downloading mods whatever um and then if anything ever messes up you can just go right back to the original and you'll know that this one should work correctly um yeah so let me go back to uh, this, which I had set up a tutorial um, thing, um, and these are the mods that you can customize uh, right off right off the bat. So, unlimited survival. Uh, you want to do open and explore, MCM config, unlimited survival mode settings. These are the default values that I have. So fast travels off. Um, you have the console on and then you can do manual save if you want to turn fast travel on anywhere on survival mode um just change this to one and also you have to do that under settings as well so go ahead and change that to one and then you should be able to fast travel as long as you're not in combat if you're in combat you won't be able to fast travel it's like that on the vanilla game as well um now on on default if you have followed my uh, instructions under the holotape settings to um, keep it unrealistic and turn off everything else you should be able to fast travel from any any settlement that you are in control of um, as long as you've taken control of it and you go to like the center of it you should be able to fast travel to other controlled settlements uh, that's why i have it on default but you can fast travel um anywhere if you change the setting right there the next uh, i and i mod that you may want to change is smooth movements and this smooths out the um, movement in the game um, but to change, to change the settings you do smooth movement f4 se plugins and then this is how you can change stuff you can also mess with your height as well the default height is eight but let's say you want your you want to be taller you can change that to ten if you want to be shorter five um, yeah and then you can also change the power armor height and then this is how you adjust the uh, smoothing in the game so let's say you find it a little bit um delayed um you can you can like lower this the dampening effect is actually it might be smoothing them out this one might be the thing that like makes movement a little bit delayed to actually like smooth out the first person running in the camera uh, so you can put on like eight or something to make it a little bit less delayed if you want i would try the default first and see if you like it and then adjust it from there um okay save that all right create your own difficulty rebalance uh this is something that i didn't have available in the uh in the other ones so let's say so on default i have the values at one player damage and then 0.75 enemy damage so if you want to change that you right click it and then do reinstall mod and then uh let's say i um i want my damage to be like let's say i want the game to be easier so i'll put my damage on three so i i would do three times the amount of damage and i want enemies to not be doing as much damage to me um 
I'll put it on like half. So then they'll do half. You do install. You do replace. Uh, and then they're going to end up at the bottom. So you want to check these both on. Um, and then you click one. You hold down the shift key. And then you have both of them. Um, and you want to drag these up until uh, you want it to be right above uh, first person messages. Make sure you do this on a new game. I mean, it doesn't really matter if you do it midway through your game either. You're just going to have to like click through the save. Um, but it's they're not like script heavy or anything, so it won't uh, ruin your save file. Um, and there you go. Now you're... Uh, now you're going to be doing a ton of damage. Enemies are going to be doing less damage. And this is one way to make the game easier um, for yourself. Or you can also, you know, you just put on like times one enemy damage, time one, times one player damage. I'm actually going to go back and uh, put that back the way I had it, which is this. And then 1.75. And then I do a replace. And I'm going to drag that up again. So you want it right above this first person messages merge that USB. So make sure it's right above that. Um, cool. Idle hands. Um, now, actually, before, let's say if you're not able to, um, if like the thing is not reinstalling, like after I click this, if it says like can't find the reinstall thing, what you want to do is you can click on this little wrench icon. Um, this isn't actually on the readme. This is something that I realized I probably should have gone over, um, but I didn't. So you're going to find the download path. So it, let's say your download location was different than the way I had it set up. Uh, the way you can fix that is just click on this button and then find wherever you set the download location to when you were originally setting up the Wabajack list. Um, mine happens to be in a separate hard drive uh, right here. And then you can just click OK. Um, and that way, and after you do that, press uh, press F5 on your keyboard, and that'll refresh everything. And then you should have your download location correct, and you can just reinstall stuff. Um, <clears throat> anyways, idle hands. So you're going to reinstall this. Uh, you're going to choose DLC, uh, choose your gender, and then choose whatever skin color you want, and your gloves. I um, prefer this one, but you know they're all they're all good um next and then install uh, you're gonna do replace i'm not gonna switch mine out because i like it all right finally um the hide ui mod uh reinstall this choose idle hands this is if you want the compass shown or hidden i prefer it hidden for the immersion um and then this is where you can just customize your hud he's got a, light, a nice little uh thing here so you can kind of get an example of what you're going to be shown on the screen <clears throat> um yeah just adjust this to whatever you want and then install and then click replace and that's how you can adjust your hud um and this thing the index um thing oh um so this is specifically for index let's say you're on you're on an oculus or something uh what you want to do is uncheck that or you can keep it checked on. I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, you're going to want to download this with the manager. Now, this is this is for Oculus. Uh, this will change the UI. You might need to also go into the community bindings page. So this is specific for, I think there's a community bindings that let you like grab stuff with the grip button. So let's say you like playing like that. Um, this will fix the UI in the game. So it'll show the right uh, bindings for having grip be your activate button. That's if you that's if you prefer it like that. I personally think that's the better way to play Fallout 4, just because like when you're grabbing stuff, it'll you can actually like press the press the grab button. Um, I think did that download. <laughs> oh yeah, and then do open and um something. Yeah, it did. Uh, Oculus. Okay. Right grip. All right, cool. So there it is. You can search for it, typing in Oculus. You double click it. Press OK. You can just check that on, um, and then I'll fix the UI. Um, I think, is there anything else I need to go over? Um, I wonder if they read me. I'll, I'll go over the holotapes. I'm probably going to hop into the game and just show you some of the stuff that's new in the game. Um, 
I, I also made a, some tutorial videos for the virtual holster system, which I will show you. Um, optimization stuff. Again, just read the read this. That will have up to date information. Um, you can use Process Lasso. That's a good program. Uh, I have it open right here. And then under Active Processes, you'll see uh, Fallout Four. Right click it and then do induce performance mode. This is totally optional. It just helps to keep the game in high performance whenever you're, or high priority when you're running the game. So you don't need to do it like manually in task manager or anything. Um, you want to turn off motion smoothing or asynchronous warp for Oculus. You don't want that on when the game is running. Um, and then yeah, do the properties compatibility thing. So you want to go to wherever you have Fallout 4 installed. Fallout VR, excuse me. Um, find this. Do properties and uh, this is what you want. Check the thing that says disable full screen and then run that as administrator. That should help a little bit. Um, don't super sample directly in the game. Do that in Steam VR. Um, natural locomotion. So natural locomotion. I think I've gone over this in a in a few videos, including the Wabajack video. I'm not exa exactly sure. Um, this is you can use it with trackers, with controllers. Um, it lets it lets you run and walk in place to move in the game. It's pretty great. You can also jump in your life. Um, it's a paid app, so that's on sale right now. Well, you guys should get it because it's <laughs> it's great. <laughs> But uh, it's, I'm not sponsored by Natural Locomotion. Um, I just think this is a really great app. I use it in a lot of stuff. It works for Skyrim VR as well. And oh, okay. Yeah, so the other thing is I'll, I'll be going over this in once I hop into VR. If you build in workshop mode, that will turn your hand invisible. That's caused by idle hands. Um, so just to fix that, you can just uh, Make a save and then reload the game. That'll fix it. And then when you exit power armor, you want to turn on your pit boy and turn it off. I'll go over that in the game as well. Um, and I have the FAQ here. All right. If you've killed Sturgis, this is on the readme as well. Um, this is optional. So I have something called Sim Settlements Conquer in this list. That lets you be evil and you can kill anyone in the game. Uh, but killing Sturgis will. Um, break the quest for completing the game with the railroad or the brotherhood so pretty much locks you into just completing the game with the institute they can fix that so um because once you attack preston he'll he'll turn against you so you're gonna have to kill him uh but if you're like away from him open up the console in the game by typing the tide key you're gonna have to be in vr for this and then you have to you're gonna have to physically go to your keyboard type in prid this um 001a4d8 Resurrect, disable, enable, that'll fix the quest. And then also sometimes the freedom calls quest will get stuck. This only happens if, if you're being evil and you're and you're killing Preston and stuff. Uh, and then you can optionally just complete it by doing set stage MAN 1000. That'll get rid of the quest in your quest log. Um, and then this is just another page going over fall room tools and cleaning your save if you have to get in that, some scripts that are left over or whatever. Um, and yeah, all right, let me hop into VR uh, and show you some of the new stuff with the hollow tapes and everything. Um, so yeah, I'll be there in a second. All right, so I wanted to go over the settings specifically for natural locomotion. Um, I use feed trackers, uh, but this will probably work for anything. This is gonna be specific for um, the index controllers though. So for like Oculus or another controller um, setup, this probably won't be as helpful, but Anyways, to get natural locomotion to work, you want to go to edit profile and then describe original locomotion because this was never updated for um, uh, the index. So you have a couple of options here on, on default. I actually have it on controller direction right now because I didn't realize this app had recently updated. Um, but you have to change the original locomotion. It's probably going to be on like left trackpad by default. So you want to change that to left joystick. Um, and then I would keep it on head direction. Um, I'm going to be updating it so head is the default because I think that works better for natural locomotion. Um, but you can also put it on controller direction and then you'll have to change an INI setting. Um, but keep it on head and then go back and do um, save changes. And 
then you will uh, be able to walk in the game um, using natural locomotion. So, all right, here I am in the beginning. Um, skipping this. I'm on the sink. Uh, so something in that is new now, at least if you're using index controllers. And there's also, um, I'll let them finish there. Their uh, dialogue. Um, so the uh, the UI for index should actually be correct now. Um, so before it was opposite on the UI for the A button and the uh, trigger, but it should actually um, have the correct UI stuff, which is nice because now you don't need to pull around. All right, this is new. Um, so I uh, a lot of people weren't choosing low for the conquer setting so i yeeted every other option so now you can only do that so you, you do click me um which starts the process for the auto built settlements so you don't need to um go into settlement mode in the game uh so you want to choose yes show me the options this is if you want auto built settlements now some people might want to turn this off uh, because there is an Im impact on performance by doing this. I would recommend you keep it on. That's how I've, I've like set up this list. Um, but let's say you you waited for the settlements to be built and you're like, my performance is still really bad, especially downtown. You'd have to, you can restart the game and then choose no, not this game. But I, I would recommend doing that just because then you don't have to go into workshop mode and um, you don't have to deal with like building a bunch of shit, which is annoying in VR. Uh, then you choose okay I'm ready and yes let's do let's do this I have another message here to remind people that after you select this option um, you want to wait one minute and then save your game and reload the game so that's so you don't forget um, so we've done that so we can talk to uh, Nate um, hey, which you can see the UI is correct now close enough yes <laughs> I mean sorry I'm reload All right, so we're gonna make our way to the door. Gone over this in other videos. Uh, the, the text here is a little bit changed. Um, so I say, remember to make a save and exit, and then there's also some more information. So uh, this is the normal Nate and Nora game. That's the same thing, except you can't click on the, the cryo chamber with your spouse to get the ring. They're both the same. And then if you wanna do the normal intro, which means you like go through this whole beginning area, I do have a note here. Um, that after the alarms go off for the, the bomb, you're going to want to rush to the vault and get there as fast as possible. At least like make a save before you run over there because I have SKK stalkers in this list. So by the time it actually triggers to go out there, um, it's possible that you're going to have enemies on you um, and you're not going to have a weapon to actually take care of them. So um, <clears throat> only for doing the normal um intro you, you do want to get to the ball as fast as possible i'm going to be doing quick start because i don't want to go through the whole pre-war stuff all right i do know someone is actually working on a vr like a vrik like body mod no information on if that will actually uh become a thing but it's it is potentially being worked on um okay so I, like I went over in my other video, that's dark, um, like in all of them, but we want to log on to here and then to actually get access to this, uh, you want to do, if you're on index, press the grip on your left button and then you can um, choose your staff, so we'll do our name, um, I'll set my stats, I'd recommend you put some points in this strength because um, that way you can carry more stuff. I do have uh, backpacks in this list now, which uh, I didn't when I originally made that tutorial video. So that's a thing. Um, and you can make them spawn frequently if you want. All right, um, and then since the UI is better to accept it, press the uh, A button um, on your, it's actually, it should be right, but that's fine. It's the right A button. Wait, no, except it's grip, my bad. It's grip, it's uh, right grip button. 
and then you're gonna want to open it up again um, grab the stuff um, to turn your flashlight on that's gonna be the touchpad on your left controller and you have a little flashlight here which you can use um, now I have gone over this in other videos before I think even the first tutorial video you don't want to turn your flashlight on and then press a terminal because that'll potentially crash the game this happens in vanilla it doesn't have anything to do with mods or anything same thing goes for a uh, I don't know the pit boy yet but <laughs> Um, you don't want to use your pit boy and turn the flash on. Alright, grab this. Uh, nothing here. Get that. Um, yeah, you'll notice like icons and stuff um, now when you're grabbing stuff, which is really nice because um, Fall UI makes a huge difference when it comes to like quality of life in this game. It's like Sky UI for uh, for Skyrim. <laughs> okay, grab all these. Now because this is a survival focus list, um, I'm gonna give you guys some pro tips. Um, first you can get that, a Jack the Hollow type. Um, all right, so we're gonna grab all this stuff. Now, uh, there's sinks in the vault. So if you grab all the bottles, you can fill them up with the, um, by pressing the right A button on index for other controllers. I don't know, but go ahead and just fill up all those bottles. I think I got them all. No, all right, now I have them all. And now you have enough water to last like hours and you never have to worry about water, at least for like <laughs> the next week. Cause then if some people, struggle with survival mode you're also gonna hear me um oh my god <laughs> you're gonna hear uh my character drinking so everything is done automatically now eating drinking um you'll even drink like nuka cola if you're tired so it's very minimal management as far as survival so i know some people don't like survival mode um because of the tediousness of having to manage your resources uh, but that is not really a thing. Also, um, that is bullet time, so there's no vats. And there's also no like green overlay. That's not a thing anymore. It hasn't been a thing for a while. Um, uh, which is nice in VR, because then you don't have a really weird overlay on your face uh, during like bullet time. You can just see normally. Okay, <clears throat> grab all these bullets, um, grab that, there's usually like more bullets in here, but maybe I'm crazy. Oh, yeah, there's, alright, usually you get like close to 100. Um, okay, and then pro tip again, yank that from there. <laughs> Yeah, all right. you usually have like a hundred bullets by the time you lose them all. Grab the bobby pin. That is useful. Um, now remember, turn off your flashlight before you do that. I'd also like periodically make a save. Um, and we're gonna open this. <clears throat> okay. Alright, and as I'm going through here, uh, there is something that I'm probably not personally going to do. Um, but if you're doing the quick start, oh, I'm gonna grab that. Open this up. My original Wabajack video, uh, you couldn't actually exit through the wall, but that is the only option now. Um, Alright, we're gonna grab this. Okay and wait for this um you can open your hip boy now um i will show you how to do the holsters as well but gonna wait for this to open maybe grab some food okay 
get the rad mode I mean all right yes nice and epic <laughs> intro if uh, if the music ever annoys you I have a radio silence <laughs> so you can turn off the um background music if you if you want in your pip boy okay now before I go out there um first I am gonna make a save this is something I have in my readme if you're doing the pre-built settlements this is something that I I've done in my game it's not you don't have to do it I would recommend it if you want like the quote-unquote most stable experience in your game um if you wait inside the vault for the conquer you're gonna get a message saying sim settlements conquer is finished uh scripting all the settlements um if you wait in here until you get that message and then you exit you are probably going to have like the least amount of issues with like npcs acting weird in settlements um if you exit the vault before you get this message it's fine um i just i would try to avoid any of the settlements in the game or at least try to like avoid going near the cell um, before you get that message. Um, so I'm gonna exit, but I have this on the readme because I'd recommend it if you have the time, because this is gonna take like upwards of like 30 to 40 minutes-ish to actually like update all the scripts and everything, because it's basically building every single, or most of the settlements in the game already, including like giving NPCs jobs and populating them and stuff. Um, so yeah, that, that's a thing. If you go through the pre-war intro, um, by the time you get here, you're most likely going to be fine and already have most of the scripts done. Um, but if we're doing the quick start, I would try to avoid uh, settlements. But anyways, I'm going to exit, so uh, I can change it. We're just going to exit. Oh, wait, I forgot. <laughs> this might happen. So this is a very real possibility is you might get uh, stalkers right, right here. <laughs> Um, I would run away, run away from those stalkers. Um, this is from SKK stalkers, so they will try to kill you. Um, I am going to run away right now. I'm just going to get out of here. Cause oh, yeah. I don't... All right. This will pop up probably as you're running away from them. Um, this is for the backpack spawn rates. Choose this however you want. Um, default is the way I play my game. If you want like more backpacks to potentially spawn in NPCs, go ahead and increase the value. I think on default, it's like 25%. Um, so you can increase it to like 45% or whatever. I'm just gonna keep it on default. And <laughs> I'm gonna run away because I'm getting shot at. Um, this may or may not happen. If you wait in the vault for the cities to populate, that's probably gonna happen to you. Um, but we're gonna run over to Codsworth because Codsworth is probably going to protect us. Um, and uh, typically I say to make a save and then reload outside of the vault, but it doesn't matter. You just have to reload outside once. So I'm gonna do that right now. Um, we're gonna make a save and then we are going to reload the save because we're outside of the vault now. And um, then we can set up all of our holotape stuff. So that should, I'll talk to you not right now. Yes. Uh-huh. All right, so um, I see them over there. <laughs> Anyways, to open your Pip-Boy, I've gone over this many different times in videos. Um, it does work. So you have to swipe up. Let me show you that again. Swipe up and then you will get access to the Pip-Boy. You can change this to while uh, he's dealing with that. We're gonna go into the settings tab. <laughs> Um, and then we should have the idle hands configuration. So this is the first setting that you can change. Um, this, you can change this to a physical button if you choose. And then to open your pip boy, it's going to be touchpad. To close it, it's going to be grip. So this is if you um, have trouble actually activating it by doing this. Um, you can press the touchpad and turn it on grip to close it. If you're on an Oculus, it may be different. I don't, I don't know. I, <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't typically use my Oculus playing this game. Um, I am going to keep that a virtual. Uh, this is for custom weapons. So I'm probably, I'm not going to go over this in my video. Um, I have linked my idle hands 
tutorial video. I'll, I'll leave that in the description as well. That's going to go into more detail about setting your uh, custom weapon stuff. Let me close that. Um, and other settings that we want. Journey. I've done this before, so keep it on realistic. Turn off everything else. This is the thing that will... Oh. Uh, you want all of that. Okay. And then turn off caravan travel. Um, that'll let you fast travel from controlled settlements. And power PA helmet configuration. Click on that. You don't have to enable this. I typically choose to because I think it makes the game more fun. That'll give you the animation for uh, from the flat game in Fallout 4. All right, and then true storms configuration. Click on that. Click on yes. Goal horde chance. Put that in ten percent. Um, at any time you can also change the backpack stuff. And SKK combat stalkers. That is the stalkers that you saw over there. So if for some reason you don't like it or you want to turn it off. You can turn it off, click on that. That'll bring up all the settings again. So you need to uh, click that again. And then this is where you can uh, configure your settings. So spawn hostile stalkers, they're now disabled. Um, spawn hostile patrol, we can disable that. And now there are essentially no more stalkers now i wouldn't recommend that you do that because personally i think that they add a little a little flavor to the world <laughs> um when you're like running through it i think it makes it more exciting especially if you have a companion you can get into like little firefights throughout the world which is fun um but feel free to turn that off if you want i don't care um anyways we're just gonna continue here <clears throat> going through um the game so we're at the chemistry station excuse me what is this bag of fertilizer i had no idea that was ever there anyways um to get access to some other holidays including the holsters um gonna come here first we can get the mirror that'll let us look at ourselves and you want to grab the companion whistle that will let you um Summon your companion, like dog meat, straight to you. And we're gonna grab this, grab this, grab this, grab this. And I think it's saying full right now because I actually have um, holsters already set up in like my main game. And I think the way it's hooking into uh, into that is uh, using like mod organizer in total. So. Um, that, that is actually why it's saying full. So, um, I'll show you the hip back lower. It shouldn't in your game. It's not going to say that. I'll probably just say unassigned because you wouldn't have a weapon assigned there. Um, but in my actual main game, I do. So this is important to assign a weapon. Um, you can't have like three of like the same gun. That'll screw up the holsters as far as I know. So you need to drop this. Or better, um, if you want to like carry all your guns, I'm just gonna let me get to Red Rocket. That way you can rename one. Um, I grab dog meat over there too. Um, do do do. Before I get over there, I can show you how to favorite weapons before we holster them. Uh, the favorite weapons, at least on Index, uh, that's gonna be the grip grip button on your left controller and actually to activate stuff it will be touchpad on this or the right joystick click so let's say I want to um equip that equip the eyeglasses and all right we're gonna favorite the baton right here cryo later we'll favorite that sure and then I'm actually going to um I'd recommend you do this too so you can free up a slot um, and go into medicine. And I would take off the stem pack from the favorite because you actually have a over your shoulder. I've done this several times. You have a stem pack that you can just, it's grip button. And then you can stick it in there. So you don't need to favorite anything. 
<clears throat> um, bets. I mean, actually, that's a shotgun. Um, the reason I have to go over here is you can't holster a weapon if you have like multiple weapons in in your inventory. That will uh, that will screw it up. So I'm gonna modify, it. rename. What's that? Wait. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna call this ten. My gun. <laughs> All right. That way it's named differently. <laughs> And now we can holster the thing that says my guns and it won't screw up the holster system. So, because, um, yeah, unfortunately, I should have unassigned my stuff before I started this video, um, but whatever, it's too late for that. So I'm just gonna show you, um, Oh wait, that did work. Okay, I didn't think that would. Um, let me uh, go back here. Basically, I went over this in the um, in my other video. Hip left. Wait a second. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so to holster a gun, you need it in your hands, right? You got it in your hands, and then you want to after you craft the holsters. Um, you want to pick the spot that you want. So that is my left hip. Um, so I'm gonna click that and then, why is that working? Hang on. We'll do back lower. Oh, okay, that's why. You need the, like I said before, it's screwing it up because I'm just gonna drop these for right now because I have two 10 millimeters, so that'll be less confusing for me. Uh, you can't have the same name gun, so I'm gonna put it on my left hip and then that, that's holstered now. Sorry, this is slightly confusing. Um, and that way you pull it out with grip, okay? There you go. And, uh, oh my God, <laughs> now it's holstered. Um, all right. And what else is there? Um, I've got this. I went over the stem pack. Um, let's see. I think there's throwing weapons, so I think I went over this in the the first video. It's still a little weird doing that. Um, all right, so the other thing that I forgot to mention is I have uh, weight items in this list now, which is useful. They are expensive, so I actually had to spawn in some money because I'm on a new game. Excuse me. I made them 50 bottle caps each because I didn't want to make this too easy. <laughs> so you can spend your hard earned bottle caps on this weight item. And uh, what this does is it will let you wait anywhere in the world without having to find like a chair or a bed. So put that right here, you can favorite it. Um, and let's say it's like really dark at night or something cause I have the night, the nights are darker um, in this list. Um, and you're, if you're like out in the middle of nowhere and you're like, oh man, I don't, I can't see anything. You can use this um, and you can wait in the world. Um, if you can afford the bottle cap or the weight item at the chem bench. Um, all right, I think, I think that's it. You can kill everyone in the game um, with Conquer. I have, I, I went over this in the readme, but you can do some console commands. Um, <clears throat> if you happen to kill Sturgis, if you're going down the evil route, again, this is all optional if you just do the normal. The normal uh, game saving Preston, then that's not gonna happen. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and yeah, I think I think that's it. So just wanted to go over uh, some of the new stuff, holsters, fall UI. Ooh. The holstering is. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a little strange to get used to it, but I think it it helps with the immersion. 
Um, and yeah, everything is much more organized now, so... Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna be doing some more Skyrim stuff, so I know I said that last time. I'm planning to make a tutorial on a Skyrim mod list that I've been uh, using recently called Librium. I'll also leave the link in the description because I think that it's done really well as far as like a Wabajack mod list. And it's done better than honestly anything I could make because I'm not that good at Skyrim modding. <clears throat> uh, I'm good at like fall Fallout modding, but not, not as good as Sky at Skyrim. Um, and I stream pretty frequently, so I'll probably be streaming more of that list. Uh, I will be making that tutorial video once they, they're planning to update it soon, so I didn't want to start on a huge um, tutorial video for that and then have them update it and have to do it again. Um, so that will be coming out soon. Uh, but yeah, if you want to catch my stream, it's twitch.tv slash GengisVR. Um, and hopefully you guys enjoy this list now. Um, I don't think I'm going to be updating it for a while unless those other mods come out like the full body stuff um but nothing else has really changed much with the beginning of the game or anything so yeah just the better better ui um better quality of life stuff and um yeah it should be you know should be easier to uh do this so oh yeah to, to throw grenades on the index that's going to be holding down the a button uh, i have all the controller bindings for index on my readme so make sure to check that out or you can join the discord and ask me and i'll try to help you um yeah all right bye